Hello friends and fellow subscribers, BufferKid here back on my channel and welcome to back to Star Trek Online and welcome to Delta Recruits. This is the exciting new promotion that is going on right now. It starts today and it ends in May and this is the perfect opportunity for those of you that want to get into Star Trek Online, create a new character and earn mission rewards that are unique to that character and then also unique to the account. So this is going to be my playthrough series. I'm going to start a brand new character for just this promotion only, Delta Recruits. And as you can see, this is my main character right here. This is, I nicknamed him the A-Hole Vulcan. And so this will be my main character. And then I have also different characters, but we are going to go ahead and create a new character. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's, and as you can see now, we have two unrestricted character slots remaining. Before I would have one unrestricted character slot remaining and what that means is now Cryptic has given everybody that's free to play players and gold players and lifetime subscribers have given everybody a free unrestricted character slot just for this exciting new promotion. They are very confident that this will be a big hit that they have done this for everybody in Star Trek Online. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a new character here. And we're going to create a liberated Borg human. Now this is uh, a special perk that's unlocked for lifetime subscribers of Star Trek Online. You have to have purchased a lifetime subscription because you get the liberated Borg. Uh, this is playable on KDF and playable on Romulan Factions. Or there is also the Talaxian. This is also a lifetime subscriber benefit as well. And this is playable on both KDF and the Federation. It isn't available for Romulan. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and create a liberated Borg human. And we're going to go ahead. I've got another engineer, but you know what? You can never have too many engineers. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one an engineer. Because engineering just seems like they've got pretty good uh, abilities for, uh, for characters. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one a liberated Borg human as an engineer. Now we're going to... Go ahead and let's work on the appearance here, shall we? Work on the head first. Change this to human. Make the skin color a little bit more human. And give uh, humanoid eyes. Say, hey, liberated board. That's the way it should be. Okay, so let's see if I can. There we go. This is the one I use for my other character. Okay, now I attached. Put anything there. And now board game play here. I actually have the seven on seven of nine uh, costume set unlocked on this character, so I'm going to go ahead and give her that prosthetic implant. Looking pretty good there. Now uniform. We're going to go ahead and. I've, I've actually got a lot of different options here for uniform, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and do Odyssey. Let's see if I can remember how this is set up here. Okay, and we're going to give her a engineering insignia because she is operations. I can give her the lifetime com badge, but I want to wait until she's a higher level up. We'll give her her instant rank. Alright. There we go. You know what? Let's give her. Let's see. Usually I would give her the Odyssey belt. Let's see. This one was. Uh, they don't remember what the hell I Which one? This is which one too. Oh, that's right, I forgot this is I1. I1, so this is I. Let's go ahead and 
pleasure in Odyssey because this is current Starfleet uniform. And for her boots, let's see, I think I'm going to give her the 7 of 9 tall. Because she is liberated for. Alright, not a bad looking character so far. I think she looks pretty good. She looks like she's ready to kick some, kick some behind here. Alright, so let's go ahead and go next. Uh, background, let's see, I'm going to name this one. This one is going to be named Harley. Actually naming it after my cat. Surprisingly. Right, so we'll think of think of a middle name actually. And then the ship name that will be random. The Novi. Mm -hmm. I think we'll, yeah, I think we'll go with the name the Novi. Because she's actually she's actually a twin a twin sister she's actually a triplet sister to a couple of my little girl boy characters. And you know, I think I just remembered. There we go. There we go. That's good. That's good. Right there. there we go. Alright. So yep, she is all set up. She looks like she's ready to kick some behind here, so let's go ahead and engage. Now since I played the tutorial before, I have the option to skip this tutorial mission when it pops up. But for the sake of Delta Recruits, I'm going to go ahead and do this tutorial mission. Because this is part of the Delta Recruits promotion and uh, I would like to show you everything from the start and from the end. And then let's see, okay. Alright, and Ark has just sent me a message saying that I have got the Wrath of Khan for using the ARC interface, so this is actually pretty cool too. Uh, if you don't have the um, the ARC interface installed, you'll be able to, um, to pl if you play your game through, uh, play Star Trek Online through the ARC interface, what what they do is they give you the free uh, Wrath of Khan uh, costume, the one that Khan wore, so this is actually pretty good. I would definitely recommend doing this. Just to get the costume, you don't have to completely use the ARC interface all the time. I just use it because it's easier for me. But you could use it through the Steam interface. Okay, so there we go. And of course, let's, see, let's get rid of these spam. I hate spam emails. Frickin' people. There we go. Alright, so we got rid of the spam. Alright, so yep, nope. We will go ahead and play. This character will become a Delta recruit and be eligible for missions and bosses. So let's do it. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. And... Twenty-one years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for this one man, intro, by the way. and it's neither does history. The, the, voiceover is the, the chaos in Romulan space more. gave the Klingon Empire an actually opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Jim Chancellor of the High Council, traded really diplomacy nice. for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. 
Really an awesome intro. This is the time we have pinpointed in your timeline, sir. This is when you go back and give yourself this. You'll know what to say. You've already heard yourself say it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly wow. right. The time stream will work itself out. Just make sure you give yourself this. It's our best hope for the future of the galaxy. You'll return to this exact point in time as soon as you have done what you need to do. The galaxy still needs you, Admiral. Ready? Yeah, that's brand new right there. That's pretty cool. And I actually have that costume too. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training course, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. Alright, so here we go. We're going to meet our bridge officers. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Yeah, we don't need the pop-ups here. But yep, we're actually going to meet some of our bridge officers right now. But that intro sequence there, that's actually brand new. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I forget? You reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Rasky is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics for him. And there will be Eliza Flores. She will be our first officer. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you uh, get? I haven't received my assignment yet, Cadet Razzi. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron get your assignment, you should find Tavrel. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the okay, pathway. So now we will go talk to Tavrel. She will also be a part of our part of our uh, bridge officer crew, part of our crew. She will be our communications and science officer when we get our first ship. Greetings. Rev said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Okay. So let's go ahead and see more. Hey, how come you got a different uniform than me, Morik? Of course, I could create a Starfleet heavy uniform. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Hey, thanks. Can't you scare people more? I know you're a Benzite, but jeez. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to Lieutenant Farrah. Let's see what our assignment will be. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? I get my training crew's assignment. Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Carly Name? Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem, Lieutenant? You're going to have to ask him.
Komm. Alright, and here is Captain Taggart. Forgive uh, if the camera moves a little bit because I am using my 360 controller and sometimes the right joystick has a tendency to stick. It will move and then I have to force it back. So let's go ahead and talk to Captain Tiger. Oh, yes, we're not quite close enough to him. Good at. You to see me, sir. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm Thank impressed. You. I'm just looking at your final test scores. But I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. Hmm, I have two options here. I'm not a tactical officer, sir. I concentrate on courses for my career track or many of my classmates do not I'd say let's go with this option. Many of my classmates didn't take the test either, Captain. Is that an issue? I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program. And I want to see good results. No did, did, exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to You're set it up. tactical officer, sir? Who is that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few... blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're yes, dismissed, sir. Cadet. Okay, so now we will meet back up with Lieutenant Fl with Ensign Flores. Or actually, Cadet Flores at the moment. She hasn't been commissioned yet. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd Captain you end Taggart up? Says he wants to put me on the, he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass all right, that program. Smartass, and how many times did I rescue you when I played? Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it Good up. Way. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight! Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be you, Flores. You owe me a drink. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky I holiday. Me. I want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. What kind of tactics can I expect? It's standard stuff. The program runs a variation on Mako assault training. You're setting up the program. Are you making it easy for me? The last time I tried to give someone a little help, I ended up on academic probation for the rest of the year. I'm not saying I haven't learned a few tricks since then, fit? though. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Let's go. Whoa, 
Hello, what we got here? Oh, this is part of the Delta Recruits. Hey, it's hey, it's me. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm you from your future, and I've come back in time to tell you information you're going to need in the future. I don't quite understand everything myself, but I remember talking to me when I was standing in your shoes, so I knew I had to do this. Now, let's see, I've got two options. Say, yeah, right, nice try, Flores, or let's assume I believe you, me, you. Then, scan me. I'm not a hot grand or a photonic life form. I'm probably coded in chronotone particles. Think of a number, any number. It'll be identical to the one that I thought of when I was in your position. So let's see, do I want to go pi is divided, you know, go pi is divided. Well, there's no real answer for that, but you are thinking of pi divided by zero. Now that's the way, now that's out of the way we can move on. So let's see, do I want to do, I'm still skeptical, or so if you're me from the future, why are you here? I'm still skeptical. As I was. And after receiving my first command, I spoke with an agent from Temple Investigations. They confirmed the entire incident occurs and occurred. So you can do so you can do so too, or we'll do so. Uh, I'm going to do that for now. What is it you wanted to tell me? Alright, so let's get down to business then. The war is coming. There's a war coming, an ancient race known as the Iconians once ruled huge areas of space, including this one. They had the power of gods, technology far beyond what anyone else had took. Anyone else had took all of the Iconians' enemies rising up against them as one to defeat them. We thought they were extinct. Now that we know we were wrong, and they returned to take back everything that was once theirs. That's where you come in. Why me? What makes me special? Most of Starfleet's officers had no opportunity to gather intelligence on this race, their capabilities, and their possible plans. I did. Throughout your career, we will benefit from the knowledge I give you today. When the war with the Iconians comes, the galaxy will have a fighting chance thanks to what you've learned. That's why I've come back, and so I will know what to do. Tell me what I need to know. I can't just drop everything on you at once. That could cause a paradox. You still need to locate all this information yourself. I will guide you. You're going to guide me? How? Take this. It is a tesseract communication device that allows me one-way communication from the future to you. There will be updates through that device as you progress through your career. Check it often. I think I've taken up as much of your time as I can, as I can. for as the Captain Tiger are waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. You are now a Delta recruit. You have a unique trait that gives bonus dilithium ore to you and your teammates. Ooh. As a Delta recruit, you will be able to earn many additional rewards as you complete later missions. All right, so now we are Delta. We are Delta recruits. Well done, cadets. You're not going to break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Uh, thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Well, congratulations. First officer, sir? Really? What a nice guy. Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. All right, now let's talk to Flores. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. I think you should start referring to me as a sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. May I get you a rack to Gino, <laughs> sir? Funny words. I mean, very funny cadet. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Okay. Now hear this. All cadets report to Shuttle Bank to prepare for departure. Okay, 
All of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Staff of USS Nobi, each and every one of us is trained to the task at hand. Are we ready? To you, the heart. I have the utmost faith in each of you. You're the best the Academy has, and together we can do it. Galvanize it. But we go forth boldly like Starfleet has trained us to lose everything we've learned. The Starfleet Academy is the USS Nobi to her crew. Raise the class of the class of 2409. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Alright, so now let's go ahead and board the shuttle and we'll go to our ship. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. We're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording right here. I want to break this up into parts. And so, continue on with each part of it. So, please stay tuned for episode 2 where we will continue our training cruise here in Star Trek Online Delta Recruits. So, thanks for watching. And this is Buffer Kids saying be cool and see you. And be sure to play Delta Recruits in Star Trek Online. Goodbye.